Hello and welcome to the IELTS Banquet channel. Here I help you achieve your desired band scores across all modules. IELTS listening, IELTS speaking, IELTS reading, IELTS writing. You will find valuable tips and information that will help you to ace the exam once and for all. So if you are new here, kindly hit the like button, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know once I upload valuable videos for your IELTS examination success. And without much ado, let's get into today's lesson, shall we? Section 2 You will hear a holiday company representative talking to a group of tourists in a large hotel about things they can do during their holiday. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 16. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. Hello everyone. I'm Jake Stevens and I'm your rep here at the hotel. I'm sure you'll all have a great time here. So, let me tell you a bit about what's on offer. I'll start by telling you about some of the excursions that are available for guests. One thing you have to do while you're here is go dolphin watching. On our boat trips, we pretty well guarantee you'll see dolphins. If you don't, you can repeat the trip free of charge. We organise daily trips for just 35 euros. Unfortunately, there aren't any places left for this afternoon's trip, but come and see me to book for later in the week. If you're energetic, I'd recommend our forest walk. It's a guided walk of about 7 kilometres. There'll be a stop halfway, and you'll be provided with a drink and sandwiches. There's some fairly steep climbs up the hills, so you need to be reasonably fit for this one, with good shoes, oh, and bring a waterproof in case it rains. It's just 25 euros, all inclusive, and it's every Wednesday. Then on Thursdays, we organise a cycle trip, which will give you all the fun of biking without the effort. We'll take you and your bike up to the top of Mount Lana and leave you to bike back. It's a 700 metre drop in just 20 kilometres, so this isn't really for inexperienced cyclists, as you'll be going pretty fast. And if it's a clear day, you'll have fantastic views. On our local craft tour, you can find out about the traditional activities in the island. And the best thing about this trip is that it's completely free. You'll be taken to a factory where jewellery is made, and also a ceramics centre. If you want, you can buy some of the products, but that's entirely up to you. The trip starts after lunch on Thursday, and you'll return by 6pm. If you're interested in astronomy, you may already know that the island's one of the best places in the world to observe the night sky. We can offer trips to the observatory on Friday for those who are interested. They cost 90 euros per person, and you'll be shown the huge telescopes and have a talk from an expert who will explain all about how they work. Afterwards, we'll head down to Sunset Beach, where you can have a dip in the ocean if you want, before we head off back to the hotel. Finally, there's horse riding. This is organised by the Equestrian Centre over near Playa Cortino, and it's a great experience if you're a keen horseback rider, or even if you've never been on a horse before. They take you down to the beach, and you can canter along the sand and through the waves. It costs 35 euros, 
and it's available every day. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 17 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 17 to 20. So, there's plenty to do in the daytime, but what about nightlife? Well, the number one attraction's called Musical Favourites. Guests enjoy a three-course meal and unlimited free drinks, and watch a fantastic show, starting with Musical set in Paris, and then crossing the Atlantic to Las Vegas, and finally Copacabana. At the end, the cast members come down from the stage, still in their stunning costumes, and you'll have a chance to chat with them. It's hugely popular, so let me know now if you're interested, because it's no good leaving it until the last minute. It's on Friday night. Tickets are just 50 euros each, but for an extra 10 euros, you can have a table right by the stage. If you'd like to go back in time, there's the Castle Feast on Saturday evening. It's held in a 12th century castle, and you eat in the great courtyard, with ladies in long gowns serving your food. You're given a whole chicken each, which you eat in the medieval way, using your hands instead of cutlery. And you're entertained by competitions where the horseback riders attempt to knock one another off their horses. Then you can watch the dancers in the ballroom and join in as well if you want. OK, so now if anyone has... That is the end of Section 2. You now have half a minute to check your answers.